Yep. All right, we are live. I'm doing a live unboxing of the Eureka Specialita, the Mignon Specialita. Before we do that though, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot as I'm a small creator. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So I got the Eureka Mignon Specialita because one, as you might know, I have a 270WI by uh, Barazza, and that one is extremely loud. It's a really nice grinder, but it's very loud, and my wife kind of wanted a little bit of a quieter grinder. And I've heard that this is actually a little bit nicer of a grinder, so we're going to give it a shot. I have already kind of broken the seal here. Generally, uh, these espresso pieces and stuff like that comes with a box and then like an inside box that looks a little bit prettier. This one didn't, so I will uh, go ahead and show you what we got here, and then uh, we can do a little setup and support here. So it comes with your manual. Probably won't read that. Has your bean hopper. So we got the bean hopper here. Move this stuff out of the way. And it looks like it has a little stopper and a release, so like if you want to change out beans, it makes it a little bit easier. So that's nice. And then the main unit. Let's see if I can... Oh, okay, so it has the main unit. Is... Wow, this is heavy. Holy. Okay. Not for the faint of heart. Uh, <laughs> don't pick that up unless you uh, already to hold probably... This is probably like... 20 pounds, maybe, maybe 25. It's pretty heavy. It's a heck of a lot heavier than I thought. Wow, that's pretty. I like the chrome with the black. It does have a bunch of color options. You get it in red, you can get it in black. Uh, let me uh, stop that. We are at my parents' house, so we're doing a little uh, rough unboxing here, but, um, yeah, so this this is supposed to be a touch screen. It's a stepless adjuster, so yeah, it does feel very stepless. There's no like pieces in there. So let's uh plug it in, and I think there's probably a yeah. So that goes right in there, and I think there's if you look, there's a little piece right there, and then that coincides with this. It's pretty easy. Just make sure this black piece is on the right side. Okay, push it in, and you're good to go. Now, there is a screw that you can tighten behind here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's very reflective, so it's probably hard to record. But that you can tighten this. I'm not going to because it really seemed tight enough. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So let's uh, unplug. Let's uh, get this plug all done here. Let me see if I can... Oh, it's actually... Uh, it's not a... thought it would be a little like twisty one but it's not it's a zip tie so it's a zip tie there let's plug it in if you checked out my last live stream we went to the uh, pioneer collective and uh, they hooked me up with some coffee we'll be doing a giveaway later too they gave me a bunch of glasses and things to give away so we will be doing a giveaway of some of that stuff later uh, just uh, stay tuned for that so I'm gonna use this coffee first I do have the Gaggia, as you see, I just installed a PID, and I did record a video, so you guys can all see how to install a PID. I haven't uh, edited that video yet, but it'll be up soon. Okay, so let's see how this goes in. It looks like, I would think it goes in like this. It should hold, okay. No, that's not right, maybe down. Oh. All right, huh. I'm trying to figure out how this one goes in, but I'm not 100% sure. It seems like it should go kind of like that. But for some reason... Oh, there we go. Huh. And I think this is adjustable. There is a screw here that you can adjust uh, for it to go up and down. Um, but I'm going to just leave it. We'll see how, how everything goes. So, let's see. There should be an on switch somewhere, maybe? Man, I still can't get over how heavy this thing is. Yeah, here it is. It's right here. Wow. Nice, bright display. That looks very, very nice. So uh, the switch is on the right to turn it on. 
went ahead and turned it on. Let's just, uh, let's run it just to see uh, how it works. It is quiet. I can already tell it's going to be pretty quiet. It doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of noise. Um, let's see, though. Oh, and then that, that goes down as you, uh, as the timer sets. So let's, uh, let's do this. I'm just going to single dose for right now. And they say that you can single dose pretty nicely. There's not a lot of retention with this grinder. So we're going to open this up. Let me, uh, do this here. We have, ooh, that's hot. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, this should come up, yep. A nice tight seal. Probably should have measured that better, but that's all right. We'll, uh, I'll free, uh, I'll freehand this here. Okay, that's definitely going to need more than that. That's uh, probably not enough. So let me see. Smells really nice. That coffee's great. Um, all right, so that's good. Unfortunately, I'm having to use, like, I don't really have a tamper to use right now, which is kind of a bummer. So this isn't really the best test ever, <laughs> but we can... Uh, let me see if I can get something that'll work. Uh, one second. Let me see if I can find something. All right, this is a little jerry rig here. We're gonna use. We're gonna use a little like thimble type thing here. See if we can make something work. It's definitely not gonna be ideal, but I just uh, I got the grinder in and I wanted to test it. I'll pick up a. When we go back home, we'll do a better review and comparing it, but um, I was just excited. I get excited when new stuff comes in. Okay, that's, uh, you know, I think it's about as good as you're gonna get with this. It's definitely not even, but whatever. All right, let's, uh, and now I gotta grab an espresso cup. Let me switch. This is going to be probably very difficult with a, uh, no, that one, even, actually, let's just use the same thing we did this with. That'll work. Probably a little small, but that's okay. Let's see how bad this shot is going to come out. All right, first shot. Definitely not great, but it's a shot. Stop that there. Surprisingly, not as terrible as I was expecting. Um, can I sip out of this? Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's not the best ever, but actually, it's not terrible. There's a lot of body in that. Anyways, that was the unboxing. Let's see. I don't know. Let me go around the camera here. Let's see if we can. Uh, Figure out if there's any questions in the live stream. All chats. Plastic hopper. Yes, there is a plastic hopper on there, Linda. Um, and it probably would be nice if they made this out of glass, but that's okay. I mean, it's pretty common. Most most hoppers are plastic. Even some commercial grades. A lot of commercial grades are even plastic. But um, yeah, I think it's a really beautiful looking grinder, though chrome with this uh matte it's actually this is actually metal the whole thing is made out of metal that's probably why it's so heavy i thought this might have been plastic the black pieces but it, it is not it is metal that has been painted for sure and this is chrome you can get it in all chrome you can get it in red you can get it i think i've seen it in blue there's plenty of colors white um but yeah so far uh it seems like a super nice grinder it's way 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 quieter than the uh 270 wi i will do a decibel and a full comparison of the two once uh once i get back home and everything but yeah if that's all the questions we have 
Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And this was the uh, special Lita. Catch you in the next video.